All righty. We have an unboxing, folks. Ruggedly cool. Camp Zero. So. Let's break this puppy out. And I got this. I got this on Amazon from these people. Let me put some light on the subject here. Costco Wholesale. One of the better companies in all of America from all, everything that I've read about them. They were actually selling these on Amazon. I'm not a Costco member, but I play one on YouTube. <laughs> no, not really. Okay, well, you may be saying to yourself, I thought this dude was an Icy Tech guy. I am. And I'm very loyal. Very loyal. I have three Icy Tech coolers in my boat as we speak. But, Icy Tech doesn't make one small enough. Believe me, I went to their website. I was all about Icy Tech. I love my Icy Techs. But I wanted a really small little cooler. And I'm going to explain why. And I'll be pressing this to, um, into action as of tomorrow doing the Bull Reds. You, mean, you never even let me finish my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> And there's a damn tournament going on too. Willie has to always have tournaments for everything. Okay, well you got, let's see, the Redfish tournaments where it's the Mosquito Fleet. You know what I'm talking about, the Mosquito Fleet? You may not have a Mosquito Fleet in your area. All the little flats boats with the $500 chairs on the back. I think they call them polling platforms? Yeah, like anybody's pulling around here in this damn current. And, um, yeah, uh, they have to have those tournaments, you know, the, the Winston Cup of Redfish, uh, all that bullshit. It's, you know, so a bunch of guys can go out and play bass fishermen on weekend. Then, of course, we have the Sheep's Head Tournament. And the only reason I, in Jacksonville, the largest Sheep's Head Tournament in the entire globe... And the only reason I support that tournament is because it's a fishing club that I've been a member of for 20 or what, 30 years, 30 years, maybe, I guess. I don't know. Um, so that's the reason I support the Sheep's Head Tournament. And now let's see what else. Of course, King Mackerel tournaments every time you turn around. Wahoo tournaments, dolphin tournaments, cobia tournaments, flounder tournaments. There's a tournament for everything. I, I, I don't get it. Me personally, myself, I don't get it. I don't see why anybody wants to go out and take the largest of the large, largest fish out of the water. You know, I don't know. Okay, well... 
that's a so that's a topic for a whole nother video as they would say so let me pop this thing out of its box seemed like a very quality i mean there's a bunch there is a bunch of roted molded coolers out there today folks all you have to do is get on amazon and you'll see i mean boo two amounts of little coolers okay so of roto molded coolers so here you go there you go it's called the camp zero it's sold i guess they sell these in costco it's just like my ic text it's got this handle all right i guess i gotta cut this off no but hey if it was like the plastic if it was like i see people you know keeping the plastic on the quirk of their ugly sticks or oh maybe i should just keep this plastic on there i never understood that you know why i think people do that because they want it they think they're going to break their rod and they want to be able to take it back they want to be able to take it back all right there we go so that's a 10 quart that's the whole thing about it it's ruggedly tiny all right so it's just like an icy tech see what it's, it is oh look at this risk of children and pets getting entrapment really my god did you know that your infant would be crawling in a cooler and it going and closing on them and then probably latching even all right well i'll tell you why i got this for bait and what is my most go-to bait ever dead scram well let me show you what i was using for my dead scram and the reason i got this is because the one i have just doesn't seem to hold the dead scrimp very good i wanted something that i could throw blue crabs in throw some ice in here and it's gonna last so let me show you what i was using well this this is what i was using i don't even know how big it is i don't think it really says this is a coleman you know it's kind of cheapy um I got a bunch of shrimp in it down in there frozen i had this i literally picked this up and stuck it down in my deep freeze but you know no seal and i'll tell you how goofy this thing was when i got it it took two hands to literally pry it open two hands i don't got two hands well i got two hands but usually i'm doing something with the other one right so then when it's sitting on my back deck on my cutting board in the back of the boat it took two hands just to pop it open and the other one i usually have a hook in my hand so what i ended up doing is having to go in here and shave down the plastic up in here right shave it down so and over where i had to shave it over on the sides here too okay and then i put this <laughs> this little handle here so we can just lift it up and put it down right i still may be using this and it just doesn't it just doesn't i mean the, the shrimp don't stay great in this all day long sitting on the back deck so a lot of people have said boy i like your modification I mean, non-stainless hardware, you know, so that, that was that. And I'm going to be doing the same thing with this. This is going to be sitting on the back deck. I reach in, I grab a handful of shrimp, okay, or, or the crabs, 
This one knocks on down. You can see it's got little detents right here for this handle. It seems to be built exactly like all, you know, sort of all the rest. Um, you know, you gotta always be aware. I mean, this cooler was not that expensive at all. You know, you always hope, yeah, is there really foam in the top? But I liked it because it had a really good seal. And see how it has, it has the, uh, the bump right here. And it goes in and sits in the seal. That's actually better than what all my icy techs have. My icy techs, they have a, this portion up in here that sticks way out and it goes down inside the cooler and that's where you get the icy tech seal. So, uh, so I wanted to try it. You can't ever have enough little coolers to do a job. It's got the rubber feet on the bottom. Um, wasn't that expensive. You could check Amazon. I'll put a uh, Amazon link. Uh, molded cup holders, and like I said, this is the 10 liter or 10.6 10, 10 quart. It says it has complete, you know, commercial grade insulation inside. Hmm, I wonder what the difference of that is. Easy carry handle latching system. Just like all of them, you can put a lock through here if you wanted. <laughs> yeah, really? So, this will sit back in the back of the boat full of crabs, full of my dead shrimp. This is a dead bait cooler, and um, hopefully it'll work out. So that's just a little unboxing, and I'll be using it tomorrow. So in future videos, you may see that sitting up on my cutting board. I'll show you the cutting board. Uh, it's something that nobody has but me. There's my cutting board, drink holders. Here's my, uh, what do you call them things? A uh, little deflating tool for fish that seem to blow up. All right, I got my, uh, this is what I use, these two right here for washing out my, my outboards if I have to. I got a GoPro mount, got a tray, I got cup holders. And if you're not a subscriber and you've never seen it before, Oh, let me get the cooler so I can kind of show you where it, its placement will end up being. Oh, and it's even got the Grizzly Bear certification. Come on. So, just, you know, little things that I'm ooh, trying to work on here. All right. So, if you're not familiar... That's where the cooler will sit, right there. So it'll, it'll do its job just sitting there. And of course, I've got six and eight ounce sinkers over here, two ounce fixed eggs, tools, one ounce fixed eggs, and some more one through four ounces over here. And this is where all the action happens, right here, folks. This is the cat's. As, as they say and this is where all it happens GoPro mount right there don't use this too much because it seems to be too close sometimes but there you go that's what that cooler's gonna do it's gonna find a home right there full of some of my favorite bait which is usually dead scrimp man I'm telling you I've caught the hell out of everything on dead scrimp not trout though but then again, yeah, every once in a while. Every once in a while we catch speckled sea trout on some dead scrimp. So uh, it's what everybody eats. It's like it's like cheeseburgers and french fries. Do you really know anybody who won't eat a cheeseburger and a french fry? So I'm sure there's some freak out there who doesn't like cheeseburgers and they probably like tofu burgers. Tofu burgers and fried zucchini oh it can't be fried it must be 
stir stir fried zucchini strips. Yeah, well, if she's single and she likes it and she likes fishing, give me a call because guess what? I need somebody to do all my healthy cooking for me. So I'll see you later.